What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog Adventure. Tonight we're out here at Haunted Bandits Cove. I'm joining with my good friend Yemi. What's up Yemi? What's up buddy? So we're out here at Haunted Bandits Cove. Uh, we just got done doing a live stream video. Really cool. Had a lot of fun doing that. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for your comments. Good comments, everything. Appreciate that a lot. Um, but we're out here and it's been crazy tonight so far. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, running the video of what we're catching out here. I think just keeps chirping behind me. I know. Is it the chirp, chirp, chirp. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, we were hearing some crazy stuff earlier. We were hearing whistles out here. I uh, caught that on the live stream, hopefully. I'll have to go back and check out the live stream, uh, review it, see what we caught. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the live stream up on my channel for you guys to view. I think you guys will enjoy that one too. But let's go ahead and get into the Haunted Huts area. We're actually heading that way towards the Haunted Huts right now. Jimmy has a spirit box out. Oh, I found those, um, I found that little bunker over there, dude. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'll show you that bunker tonight. I should pull out the digital recorder and see if there's anything. Yeah, I do. Find me a good spot to set this on. How do you hold it? I'll just set it right here for a second. Hey, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. All right, pull out my digital recorder. That way I got the light from this too. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like somebody's over here. It sounded like a bunch of kids. That thing has been tripping out all night long, dude. Oh, I hope I didn't leave it in the I don't think so. I can't put it in here. Oh, there it is. I'll get my battery powered one. There's that whistle again. Got my digital recorder. What'd you hear? Somebody yell. Yeah, that's what we've been hearing tonight. We've been hearing somebody yell tonight. Some whistle comes from back over there. We're getting ready to head that way anyhow. So I'm gonna break out my digital recorder over by the where the old haunted hut used to be. Something keeps chirping. Something over here, something just keeps chirping. So we're trying to be quiet right now so we can hear the noises going on.
a distant whistle. I know. It's like, it's coming from over there. Huh, interesting. I mean, every time we get around this power box over here, this little power station, I don't know what it is. I, I, it's probably a power station or something. Um, yeah, we always get weird stuff over in this area too. Reminds me of a zombie apocalypse station. <laughs> <laughs> something like where everybody like gather up, you know, and yeah. get safety from the zombies. There's a cliff right over there. That's the mountainside. So we're getting ready to go right back into where the haunted huts are at. Man, it's been crazy tonight, Yumi. Yeah, uh, right now. No, just jumped up for a second. Okay. Yeah, it's been going on off like crazy tonight, but now it's just kind of like quiet. It just spikes a little bit. Kind of, oh, yeah, spiked again a little. We're getting close to where the huts were at. That beep was Jimmy's K2 spiking. There's, there's no equipment over there tonight. Usually there's equipment over there, but yeah. there's none tonight. So the hunt. That was a fun thing. That's scary. Yeah. So here's where the old haunted hut used to be. Or haunted hut. It's one of my favorite structures out here. I don't know why they took it down, but anyhow. They took it down, I guess it probably just they took it down probably just to help keep this area cleaned up and whatnot. The meter's dead silent. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my um that's a tree squeaky. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my digital recorder. Okay, so my digital recorder is recording right now. I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit. And then go ahead and review the uh, what's on here, if anything's on here. But we are where the old haunted hut used to be, so. Anyway, like the one.
we are where the old haunted hut used to be. Last time I was out here, I pulled out my digital recorder and got a really strange, scratchy sound on it. Sounds like somebody yelling in it. It is windy out here tonight. That's what's making the trees go kaflump, kaflump. Give it a second here. That is crazy. Can I go check out that bunker, Yumi? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go check out the bunker. The bunker's just like right over here on the turn, dude. That was not the wind. I missed it. I'm, I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, but we've been hearing some. I'm hearing some strange stuff out here tonight. I wasn't recording, I was getting ready to go live. I was fiddling with the settings on my camera to be able to go live. And something ran right in front of us. It was nuts. I mean, it was like right in front of us. We didn't see it. All we heard is we heard it. <laughs> So the bunker is like right over here. We're gonna work our way towards the bunker. Well, it's not really a bunker. I just call it a bunker because it kind of looks like it, but it's not. There it is right there in front of us where my flashlight's at. Watch yourself. Did I just say that? Yeah. Jimmy's chatterbox just said, watch yourself. I don't like it when it says stuff like that. But here's the bunker. Diablo. That's not good. Which? The Bruja. So I gotta watch my footing. But here it is. What do you think this may have been, Amy? Because it looks like there's something hollow under that metal plate right there. Yeah. I don't want to go standing on it or anything to find out. That's weird. And that's pretty thick steel in there, too. Huh? That's pretty thick steel right there, yeah. Hmm. Can't understand it. Mm -hmm. Have you run into any cold spots out here yet tonight, Amy? Uh -uh. That was crazy. This morning, well, not this morning, but uh, this afternoon, I come down here to go fishing and whatnot because this is some of my favorite fishing out in this area. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. This is some of my favorite fishing out in this area. And I was walking along some of these trails. And I walk into like a nice warm spot and then all of a sudden cold spot. And then I'm back to warm and cold. It's 
So right now we're working our way over to an old structure. Um, we were over here last year, I want to say, for Halloween, doing a Halloween night video. Oh wow. It's picking up something. I just picked up something. That's right where the old hut used to be. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that green glow on his phone or not, but there it is. Thank you. Picking up a green glow like right over my beams at. Oh, did you see that? It's picking up something. It's picking up something right by that tree. This is Jimmy's uh, SLS camera. Picking up something like right in there. Well, that's where the hut used to be. Yeah, that's where the hut used to be. Give me a second, you know, see if I can zoom in on your phone. There it is, it's picking up something right there where the old pond hut used to be. <laughs> He's cussing. That's the old haunted huts right there. Something's going nuts over there. That's insane. And it, and it just. Yeah, now you stop. There it goes. I'm gonna think whatever it is, because every time I seem like I shine my flashlight over there and it keeps going trippy. Something does like it, but I'm shining the flashlight right there. I need a yellow uh, lens on my flashlight. Alright, well, well. <laughs> I'm going to have to send Marnay some of our video footage <laughs> from when we were live streaming. Uh, she's going to go nuts over that. Usually she comes out here and does some uh, videos with us. Uh, tonight she's not. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to be joining us on any more of our adventures or not, but we'll see. Uh, I think the last one that we were on, the Haunted Quarry Road, that really scared her. Because uh, the road kept asking for her. <laughs> so there's the old water trough right there. Uh, Yumi and I put some strawberry, strawberries on there one night for the cryptid that lives out here. Maybe we should bring some apples next time, Yumi. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of stuff that likes apples. Um, I, I don't know if you're into like Bigfoot or not, but Bigfoots have a tendency to like apples. Yeah. Uh, kind of any kind of fruit, really. But uh, I'm not saying there's a Bigfoot out here or anything like that. But there is some kind of cryptid out here. We've caught its uh, footsteps before on video. We heard the sound of them right behind us. Yep. That was crazy. Once you hear that on the video, you never, ever miss it again. So we were right. Yeah, it keeps coming from over there. So the wood chipper was in there that Halloween night and something hit the wood chipper, like a stick was thrown at it. So we all turned to look at the wood chipper and that's when something ran right behind us over here. Around. Yeah. But then again, Yami, mean, if you stop and think about it, last time we were out in this area, that's when we um, got all those really strange hits. Yeah. Over 
Outside the trees. We were just back there not too long ago, too. That's where the haunted waterfall is at. So we're getting into roughly. The newer part of the golf course is up this way. They just recently built this part of the golf course up here. Uh, this has always been kind of trippy too. Um, if you're not familiar with Haunted Bandage Cove, uh, back in the day, I'll give you guys a little quick history lesson. Um, I, I've mentioned this in my other videos too. This used to be an old haunted, uh, sorry, this used to be an old bootleggers run uh, back in the 1920s area and whatnot. And uh, early 1800s, it used to be fur trapping up here. And when the mountain men were up here, uh, there was a bunch of natives that lived in this area too. So in the summertime, the natives would come to about this side of the valley, hang out over here. And they didn't always get along with the, the fur trappers that great, the mountain men. Uh, so, I mean, you'd have to imagine there's fights or, you know, battles or something that happened right here where we're at. And in the wintertime, the natives would go ahead and then move over to the other side of the valley for shelter and whatnot. But this place right here has always been really active. There's an old structure right here, a foundation of something. Um, did you ever see these big posts over here, Yimmy? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't notice them until I come down here the other day ago. But there's a foundation of something here. Uh, That's the SLS going. Oh yeah, the SLS going. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me know if you see anything. But uh, my cousin Wild West Kid and I come out here one night, and it was kind of a rainy night. And as soon as my cousin stepped foot up here, we heard a scream. Both of us. It was crazy. Wonder if this wasn't like a maybe like a little trading post at some time. No, they would have like dirt floors if it was a trading post, right? That's a lead pipe. That's a lead pipe, yeah. So this foundation probably nineteen hundreds maybe? Yeah. So I'm not sure what this foundation was. I'm not sure what kind of building it used to be here, but we're assuming it's probably somewhere around the 1900s because in the 1900s they had just barely built the main road going up to the dam. Uh, there's a dam up the road that way, up the ways, uh, a couple miles. And uh, so they'd have traffic coming down from the dam up here and whatnot. So it'd probably be like a little corner market, like a little trade store because the old original road ran right here in front of the, on this side of the river if I'm not mistaken because the old bridge is like right over there. It's a 1920s bridge. So I think this used to be kind of like the old main access. And there's a really sketchy cliff over here. It has a big rock slide and everything. Uh, we're not gonna go there tonight or nothing like that. Maybe one of these other nights we'll go to the rock slide area, but not tonight. Oh yeah, stepped on a rock weird. Okay, so you gonna take this path right here, Amy? See where this one goes? Are you having problems with that flashlight? It's getting back bright. Okay. I'll say because that crazy flashlight has been through. We had that at Lomia. That's the first flashlight <laughs> that we had at Lomia that was flipping out. Oh, there's a pad up here. Yeah, there's uh, another uh, Frisbee T, I think they're called. I guess it's like a launch pad or something. Yeah. You know, his flashlight's kind of freaking out on him, too. With that flashlight that Yumi is using, that's my flashlight that uh, Marnie and I used in our in our haunted Lomia video. Uh, Lomia is crazy haunted. Uh, we should probably go back there one of these nights, Yumi. Yeah. But yeah, Lomia is crazy haunted. It's, it's right next to one of our most haunted locations here in northern Utah. 
uh, St. Anne's Retreat. It's called the Nunnery, but the real name is St. Anne's Retreat. It used to be known as Camp Hatchet. And his flashlight's freaking out. It just keeps going on strobe on him. And this spot right here where we're at too, we had a crazy, crazy EVP one night. So this, this spot's crazy. I got your back, Yimmy. All this stuff is new. They just recently put all this stuff in for the golf course. This is 14. This is 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Bandit Cove 14. Yeah, all this stuff right here is new. It's a good solid pad too. Yeah. I think that's the main trail right there. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, this is the main trail. The sage is up there. Yeah. That was weird. That was weird. Oh, this is a crazy little structure thing, too. Yeah. There's like a chain wheel right there of some sort buried in the cement. And then this thing. Yeah, I heard something up there. Yeah, I I'll never put any jump scares in my video for you guys. I don't I don't like that. I think that's dumb. I don't like it when creators do that. And you know, you're sitting there watching the video and all of a sudden, you know, something dumb just pops out. No, no thanks. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. We're here to make more videos, not stupid videos. Exactly. We're not here to do stupid stuff. Or at least try not to do stupid stuff. But uh, we're trying to when on our adventures, we actually try to bring like what's actually happening on, going on around us and whatnot. Where does that come from? That goes into like a little, like park area type of thing. Yeah, but how do you get into it from the road? It's all gated off at the road. It's up there on the turn. Oh, is that the, like the, yeah, oh, okay. I yeah, I'm not sure what that place is. The, the, the scout zone. Oh, the scout zone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that little like park area over there that, that we were just looking at the bridge, that's a scout zone. Um, so you can actually reserve that spot, but you have to go through the city to reserve it. So I think we're going to go ahead and start wrapping on this video. Uh, I'm not sure, like, since I've been doing the video, not a lot of crazy stuff's been happening. It was more crazy stuff happening during the live stream, so definitely watch the live stream. Uh, it'll be on my channel. I'll leave it up for you guys. Although we did get to us over by Hunter Hunt, the strange anomalies on the SLS. Oh yeah, we got the strange anomalies on the SLS, that's for sure. Um, that was just, that was trippy. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping on the video. I'm gonna go ahead and keep recording until we leave out of the haunted hut area. But uh, if you guys are new to my channel, most definitely hit subscribe, hit those likes. I appreciate it so much. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for all your subscribes and all that stuff. And uh, until the next adventure. <laughs>